Let's take a closer look at how you can create assignments incorporating content from your class notebook in Teams. Before we switch over to assignments in Teams, make sure that the assignment, template, quiz, or other resource um, that you intend to assign to students has been created, embedded, or attached inside your content library in your class notebook. All right, let's switch over to assignments. So I'll click on the assignments tab inside my general channel of my class team. We'll give that a minute to load. Now we'll click on new assignment. All right, now before we get too far ahead of ourselves, one thing you need to keep in mind if you are planning on assigning content from your OneNote class notebook is you have to change this default here, this late turn in allowed. It's currently set to no. You have to turn that to yes in order to attach content from your class notebook in Teams. All right, let's go ahead and set up our new assignment. So I'm going to go ahead and enter a title for this assignment, the Dark Ages Quiz. And below, I can enter instructions uh, for my students to refer back to while they complete their work. The instructions are optional. You can always provide students instructions in an alternate way. Now, within this assignment, I can attach materials to support the student as he or she works on the assignment. So, for example, I could attach a rubric, a more detailed set of instructions, or even an outline for the assignment. Notice when I click on Attach Reference Materials, I can attach a document from my OneDrive. I can share a link to a website or possibly even a YouTube video. I can upload a document from my computer or I can attach a page directly from my content library in my class OneNote notebook. Now, in this case, I'm not actually going to add any reference materials. Instead, I want to provide my students with a template, or in this case, the Microsoft form, which is what they will complete and turn in. So in that case, I'm going to choose uh, or click on specify what students will turn in. Again, notice that I can attach a template or the assignment itself um, from my OneDrive, upload it from my device. I can create a blank file which will make a copy for each student. Or I can go ahead and click on my class notebook, which is what I want to do, and find that document in my content library. So we'll give this a second to load. Now I'm gonna click on Content Library and my first unit, and I want to distribute the Dark Ages quiz. Now I have to choose a section in my student notebook where this Dark Ages quiz will be copied and distributed to. So because this is a quiz, I'm gonna select Quizzes and Unit Exams. All right, before I click Assign, I'm going to make a few adjustments. I'm going to change the due date and I'm going to turn on points and we're going to say that this quiz is out of three marks. All right, I'm ready to assign. So I'll go ahead and click the assign button in the top right corner. Notice that I could also save this as a draft and then come back and assign it at a later date. So I'll go ahead and click assign. Now, let's go back to our class notebook. Remember, as the teacher, I'm able to view all of my students' notebooks. The students, however, when they log in to Teams, they will only see and be able to work in their individual notebook. Let's click on a student's notebook. And remember that I assigned that quiz in the quizzes and unit exam section. So I'll click on the quizzes and unit exam section and there it is, the Dark Ages quiz. 
Let's just expand this view. Notice that inside the student notebook, the student will see the Dark Ages quiz, and he or she will see the embedded Microsoft form. And if he or she scrolls down, uh, they can complete the form, and at the bottom, they can click Submit to turn in their work.